Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that things are well in your world. Uh, we're back with some more Baldur's Gate drafting action. I'm still having a lot of fun with this format and uh, surprisingly still having a good bit of fun playing best of one. It's nice to have really focused attention and then have shorter games and be able to step away. Uh, that's kind of different from where my head has been out before, but you know, different kinds of magic for different kinds of people and at different times in your life. Do what makes you happy. In today's draft, we're going to draft a color combo that uh, I really like and uh, get some kind of cool synergies going and have a good time with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please do drop a subscription, ring the bell, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And, you know, come by the Twitch stream sometimes, too. We stream on the weekends and usually a couple nights a week. It's at twitchtv.simulan. All right. Thank you and enjoy. You know, I had somebody in the YouTube comments, I think it was Drake, tell me that this card was absurd. And I really can't see it. But I've been wrong before. Because my inclination is just to take this bag of holding. Because I love a good bag of holding. It goes in every deck, it gives you a source of card advantage. It's just great. But I'm willing to try this. I'm imagining I'll need treasure tokens to really make this work. Ideally, in black green, I could get treasure pieces from black and token pieces from green. Let's give it a try. If it doesn't pan out, doesn't pan out. You know, I believe that same player was talking to me about how good Scanos is. And I agree, Scanos is actually quite good. My challenge here is, is it A, Meteor Golem good, and B, is it Dragonfire good? I think it's probably Dragonfire good. I don't think it's Meteor Golem good. Now let's change this to pack three when I know what my colors are, and I'm definitely green. Green's wide open. We're happy. I'm slamming the Scanos. But that is not the, f the scenario in which we find ourselves. We might not play this. But every deck can play the Meteor Golem. It is kind of a green card, because I don't really want to play it without ramp, but you can get ramp in blue as well. So I think I'm ha very happy with the Meteor Golem. Now here, I see basically three cards that I think are worth the consideration. That is, you're confronted by robbers, Pilgrim's Eye, and the Scaled Nurturer. This gives us a lot more options for later. This gives us the ramp I've been looking for. And this is just a really, really solid card. I think I like the Nurturer, and we're going to try to make this happen, but I could respect any of these picks, really. Okay, we've got Minimus Containment, which I still like quite a bit. We've got Flaming Fist Dusk Guard, which I like quite a lot. But there is kind of a little opportunity for us to get into uh, Baba La Saiga stuff, potentially with the Sepulcher Ghoul, and then look to pick up a Deadly Dispute. It feels a little weird to be passing a removal spell, but I know that a lot of people think this card is really bad. So I think we're kind of going to go off the opinion that a lot of people don't consider this much of a signal. And we're going to try the Sepulcher Ghoul. So we'll see where this takes me. It might be somewhere fun. Okay, the Myconid means I can probably at least play green. Pretty happy with that. So we're going to start looking at... I, like, obviously we still have the ghoul and I'm interested in it. But at least these cards I can very likely play. And I suspect our second color will truly be dependent on what sort of removal I'm able to conjure up here. All right, what have we got here? Hey, good morning, Teal Baron. How are you doing? We've got you meet in a tavern, which I like quite a bit considering the amount of creatures we have. Manticore got a buff. 
there's not really a card that pulls me in another direction. So I think I like the tavern. We're probably going to play that. And we'll still be on the lookout for some removal spells to get involved. Summon Undead's interesting too, but I'd rather take the Uncommon. It's not 100% to play, but it's certainly likely. Pilgrim's Eye is probably worth a pick here. Hey, thank you. Always happy to have a preview card. Eye of Beholder got a buff too, and it's not a bad removal spell. I like the Pilgrim's Eye, like comboing with her as well. I, I think I'm going to take that, but I'm really close to being just black green. I do need some interaction, and that's interaction, and it's not that terrible. Okay. I think black, green, and white are looking pretty open. Uh, I, I like Kago quite a bit, too. So let's find some interaction, and this is what we're doing so far. Good morning, Orcish Artillery. We got back the eyes of the Beholder. Again, white's pretty open, too. But, hey, what's up, Justin? Saturdays and Sundays are my new stream days. Hashtag dead gaming. I was sure I was going to still be able to stream during the week with Sim Baby, and uh, that's that's not really a thing you can do. I mean, it will be once she starts kindergarten, but we're a ways off from that. <laughs> Orkish, thank you for the resub. The deck of playing cards worth of subscribing. Sure is, my dude. You'll spam some cats for Orkish. Thank you, my friend. I don't think I'm planning on playing that, but we could. But we got another Eye of the Beholder. Uh, Iron Golem's quite playable, too. But, like, I, I don't mind this if we have a little bit of ramp, which we do. Heck yeah, Justin, that's great. <laughs> we four. Thank you for the prime sub, my friend. Merci. Since I'm not in white, I'm going to pass this. I, I, I'm not realistically playing the hook horror, although, like, it is technically a combo with Baba. I like Chain Devil a lot more than uh, Knoll Hunter, but I found two drops to be more important in best of, three, uh, best of one, so I'm going to take it in case we need it. Exclamation point free preview. It's already released in its entirety and you can go see it. What does this do? Huh. I think I'd like to have that. I've never seen that card. So my YouTube has been hovering just under a thousand subscribers for the past 800 years. And I was like, why don't we do this preview on YouTube? And, you know, y'all can go watch it. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. But you don't, you don't have to. But it's there for you. I get some blood money. Heck yeah. Ramp into a wrath. It'll be great. All right, so Lulu's here. We could splash a Lulu. I could take this Imp. I could take another Nurturer. I would really like to get some treasure producers to kind of combo with Baba. Because I think you're supposed to sacrifice a land, an artifact, and a creature. I guess if there's a do-nothing enchantment, we could do that too. I think the Imp probably plays in this deck. I'm just not, like, terribly excited by any of these picks. Because I really want the ramp to be my conids. I, I don't want a lot of nurturers. I, I'm going to take an imp and be a little sad about it. But I, I do overall like where the deck is going. This thing got a buff, which I think is useful. I don't think I want to be playing horde robbers in this deck. I do think I could be relatively happy with this. 
It's a piker that may eventually get me a land later. White is a little more open than either of our colors, but I'm kind of okay with these being our payoffs. And I do want to try out Baba Lasaiga and see if she's any good. I think I want one of these. I certainly want one of these. Random good red card. I definitely want the Prowler. That's great. I think this is one of a few decks that would be interested in Shambling Ghast. Uh, especially in best of one, this is a lot more playable. Because there are a lot of white decks. The white decks often have two ones and three ones and four ones. And you can get them with that. So I, I think we're just going to play this. And that, that means my two drop slot is kind of good which is good for us. I am interested in more ghouls, more prowlers. Uh, I quite like one copy of Line Up the Shot in Best of One, but this Mykonid is perfect. It means we can even splash an off-color bomb. I think I can get one of these later, and I think I'm interested in a Manticore. Got a bag of holding here. which I could play in this deck. I do want one copy of Line Up the Shot. I suppose I should take the Uncommon. It's not 100% in, but it's card advantage and a color that might be interested in it. Summon Undead is very close to playable here uh, with the Circle of Land Druid, Baba Lasaiga, and the Kaga. So I think I'm going to take it and probably plan to play it. There's another source of card advantage if we want it, which is pretty great. Could potentially play one of these. A white's quite open. I, I feel like Confronted by Robbers is just a pretty good card. I've played the bard before. Oh wow, probably playing that too. Neat. We could take... It was a huge adjustment, Justin. I'd like to talk about it, but I think I want to make my pick here first. And it's a, it's actually a really tough one for me between Meteor Golem, Grave Choice, and Band Together. I think Band Together is better than Grave Choice. I think with three Rampers and the Reanimate, I want the second Meteor Golem. The first two weeks for me were a huge adjustment, and it was quite difficult because uh, I went from, you know, streaming 40 hours a week to looking after baby 40 hours a week. That was a pretty big adjustment. That's a wand of Orcus, Orcus boys and girls. But I, I kind of hit my rhythm, I think, last week. We had a really good week. I think I'm very interested in this. It plays better with like trample and flyers, and I don't have a lot of that, but I have some. It does give me creatures to potentially sacrifice to Baba if if we're even doing that. Okie dokie. I think we're basically done now. I could take one more ramp card. Why hello one more ramp card. I think I like the Myconid better than the Druid. Well, I do feel like I've hit my stride. She's almost four months old. And like, yeah, I like this better. It, it plays well with Baba. This is a ton of little blockers. It still feels awkward that I don't have anything worth splashing, but... I don't have anything worth splashing. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to go 22 lands in this deck or not. We'll play another one. I 
don't think I want another one is the problem. I'll take one and we can decide if we want it. But it, it was a huge adjustment, but I, I think I've successfully navigated it. I've splashed this before and it wasn't as good as I thought it would be because you kind of have to have things start dying. So like it's interesting with Sepulcher Ghouls and stuff, but this deck really isn't built for it. Yeah, this is exactly the opposite. I've, I've got all of the ability to splash, but none of the reason to. I'm still going to take it, but I don't think we play it. Is this just better than the Sepulcher Ghoul? Because I think it is. Like, we just play infinite early death touchers. There's even another one if I want it. Yeah, I could do this and run 22 lands and I think be quite happy. Ooh, but we got to line up the shot. I need to find room for that too. My goodness. This deck is too good. It's a problem. That probably means the circle of the land druid is just out at this point. I'm not hurting for two drops. No, take the uncommon. It's best of one. I was starting to think about what would be best on the sideboard and then I realized it doesn't matter. Three seven drops and 16 lions seems fine to me. I don't know why you would need more or even be worried about it. I don't think I ended up with an optimal deck for Baba. I'm halfway considering cutting Tavern for the bag of holding. Because most of why I'm playing the tavern is for a source of card advantage. Not really for the, the trample finisher. Because I think we're looking to finish with this stuff. So I think I like this better. Yeah, I found that to be the case with best of one, two, personally. I mean, we'll start at the back. to get the forests. All right, we got something here. I can work with this. Witherbloom was green black, right? Can get behind that. Let's see if we've uh, got anything here. Because who knows, we might. If you have not yet seen the free preview card, exclamation point free preview, go check it out. It's on my YouTube. You could subscribe while you're there if you want to. Then you could watch draft videos while you poop. I can get behind this. We probably end up cycling this.
doesn't make a lot of sense, but I can't not be mana efficient. I am a slave to mana efficiency. It's three to equip, right? Yeah. It doesn't make a lot of sense to play it and equip it to this. And yet, that's kind of what I'm doing. Because, like, worst case scenario, I draw a couple more lands and we just wrath everything. I'm basically paying three mana to draw a card if you think about it. But I'm okay with that. I like cards, they're good. Yeah, considering I get to keep the wand, I think it's all right. And we're trading with something, right? Like, they're probably going to block it. I'm going to give them the treasure token, because if they cast something big, I'll just kill it. Like, you're going to give me the, the, the card off of this, or I have a 2-2 factory, which seems good to me. Oh, you got one, too. That's what you do on. Okay. I approve. My 1-1 one -one has Death Touch now. What you gonna do about it? That's what I thought. Wish I still had this naturalized. I don't, it makes me sad. Go get my card. I think we hold up eyes and manticore here and see how they attack. I could try to get them by flashing in the Manticore, equipping the Manticore, and then attacking with the Manticore so that I get more zombie tokens than they get. Or I could just Eye of the Beholder it now. I think I kind of like them wasting their turn. If they go land drop into Imp, I'm going to feel pretty stupid, but that's what the blood money's for. I could have potentially, I should have waited for it to attack. That would have been better. This doesn't have reach. I think I like Manticore's removal here. Could use another land drop, yo. You can have summon undead for now. Because I'm about to get my zombies.
Look at all my zombies. Aren't they cute? Yeah, but what they don't know is that I'm actually holding a wand of Orcus right here. Watsy sent me one for the D&D set. So I have the actual wand. I don't know how they think they're going to beat that. Talk to your doctor if your wand is dormant. I don't really want to commit much more to this board. Yeah, we could. I'm kind of a little concerned about the life total here. But we may do that next turn. I don't think I need the bag of holding right now. is awkward. If I blood money them before they cast my reanimate spell, I get my reanimate spell back. So like, I'm not really losing much here except for some zombie tokens. So there's a decent possibility we just wrath next turn uh, if, if they don't cast the summon undead. They're thinking about it, but I don't really feel like they've got anything worth getting back. They think they do. works. It's going to ruin my scries, but may as well. poking them in the air if they don't do something. I guess they sacrifice this, get gut back, make a swing, we blood money, and then we play Kaga and see where this goes.
I kind of want to get all of the value I can out of this before I blood money. Which I think means we chump whatever they put that on, hope they play another creature, and then we fire it. Actually, that's not what that means. If they put it on the Intellect Devourer, we'd still chomp Gut. Good old Manticore. Good old blood money. I need one more card deck. Just like one more card. Ideally a removal spell for that. Thanks. Is there any reason not to do this now? Not that I can think of. Get out of my game. Whiff for one turn. Got Morgan Ishtari. I need that. It's a pretty good reason, Zombob. I kind of forgot that it gives things haste. But I think that's a quality reason. They literally used it to attack me with something, and I didn't pay any attention at all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. lands, yo. Which is apparently just what we needed. A lot of good lands. I'll take it. I'd be a little nervous about this on the draw. But I'm not on the droll, so let's grab a leg. I mean, or it could help you out. It's hard to say what's going to help when you're you're in a a, a bad mental space. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I really want another land. So I'm going to make sure that we hit our land drop next turn. Because that will allow me to play and equip the Wand of Orcus, Orcus to something. This one's really bad when it specializes, right? Yeah, it's pretty terrible. For me. Ward 2, huh? Who knew it had reach? Because not me was the answer. I've looked at the card 500 times. Dave, you win a pumpkin. What doesn't it have? Haste. Two, right? Yeah. Because they're about to wipe my board, and that's a problem for me. I don't know that I'm beating the blabber, but I can at least not have to deal with Wilson. This is really bad. This is incredibly bad. Bad things are happening. Do I have a panic demote? Kind of just this. I'm going to need to summon undead into milling one of my golems, I think. I, I basically just want infinite line up the shots, because now I need another plummet. Like, I can make an irrelevant zombie. That's not going to work for me. Yeah, we're just on literal... Hope this works. It didn't! It absolutely didn't. But maybe we can draw one. That'd be swell. The good news is I don't think having uh, the Pilgrim's Eye that I chump attacked with live would have been useful. That's not enough to kill anything that they're playing. Bronze Walrus Gaming. There's literally nothing I can draw that would save us now, right? Uh, I wanted to say that and then draw the seven mana wrath and play it and be like, Oh my god, clip it! But instead I drew Eyes of the Beholder and I think we concede now. Yep. Game over, man! 
You can still clip it. It's just not nearly as good. I like what's happening here. I think we start with the Nurturer, since we've got seven drops to ramp into. Hello Techno Shaman, how are you? Life is good, my friend. I can activate the bag end of turn or activate the line of the shot, so we may as well wait. It's like, maybe I want to pop that. I'm imagining it, if they put it in their deck, it's good enough. Let's blow it up. It's really bizarre. If you conjure a plummet, it's a foil plummet. But if you conjure a naturalize, it isn't. It's weird, yo. Gnoll Hunter. I want my fraction of a penny, man. I'll hold the dragon for now. Because I'd currently rather cast that. I don't think I'm going to pop the Beholder on that Dragonborn looter, but I might. I think it's unlikely. I think I'd rather just hit a land, fire off the dragon on it. Play off the top slash activate bag and then draw a bunch of cards off of it. Oh, I may use the Eye of the Beholder now. Fungus. Favorite enemy, Fungus. Is that Athlete's Foot Cream?
Lots of team of dragons today. Less Golgari fungus. Which is a shame. They call it fungus because it's so much fun. I might blind fire that, but I'd say it's unlikely. I'd rather they kill the dragon or something and then I get to do up. Obviously. That's what you call a large fungus. It's pretty good. See, that's why I didn't want to put the summon undead under it, is there is main deckable artifact hate in this format. And it's very prevalent in red and green. So if I play a fungus, they get a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, it has to die for them to get a counter. But it does make a fungus token. No, the token's not fungal. This deck has a bunch of creatures in it. If I have to blind fire summon undead, I think I'll be happy about it. Might be in danger. Four, five, six, seven. So I can't kill them with blind firing this. But I can get them in an awful lot of trouble if they want to do that. I don't know what they got to make them want to attack so aggressively, but nothing is the answer. Okay, cool. I'll take not good enough for 500, Alex. Oh, come on. We were having such a good time. Let's go again, shall we? Thank you. 
I didn't know what the paper versions of Earthquake Dragon and Baba La Saiga did. But I've quite enjoyed this set. This is a little awkward on the draw. It'd be nice to draw a two drop, but it's not something I can comfortably mulligan. Would this have been overpowered if it just had death touch? Not a triggers on attacks death touch, just it had death touch. I kind of don't feel like it would have. This deck has a good bit to do at 7 mana, eh? like that. I guess they were worried about it doing weird stuff in Commander. What's the last format you played a lot of, Dave? This one's been my favorite one in a long time. Yeah, Kamigawa and... Capenna just didn't really work for me. What was before them? Was that AFR? Because that was the last set I was really into. Oh yeah, I guess you can't play more copies of it in Commander, huh? I don't know the rules for Commander. I'm going to say we obviously play out the Druid here, but we've got a chance to double spell. So I think we pretty happily take that. Because this deck is very interested in getting to 7 mana for like 800 reasons. I wish they'd implement genuine commander on Arena, where you could play four-player commander. I think I might actually enjoy that. I guess maybe we set up for the seven drop next turn if we think we need it. I don't think we're wrathing. I've played before online, uh, back when you could play it on Magic Online, and maybe you still can, I don't know. And with the right group of friends on Magic Online, I enjoyed it. But it, Magic Online doesn't work on my computer anymore. Which stinks, because I was going to go play a bunch of Sealed on it. And it, I, then I couldn't.
Boop. Hiya. I don't think it's that big of an issue. I'm certainly planning on using Eye of the Beholder on it uh, in the next little bit. But I figured this lets me get an attack in. Which I like. And then if I kill it the following turn, I can also attack with the 3-3. Three, three. Or in this case, maybe not so much. I think I still want to kill it, though, which is the weird part. Because I could conceivably block this down with gang blocks. Whereas this is a source of card advantage that's just going to get annoying over time. I don't feel like dealing with that. Well, they can make this unblockable and hit me for seven, but I've got a bigger swing back. At least I think I do. I suppose we'll see. Dang it! That's not what they were supposed to mill. Alright, fine. We'll just get all in on this. they still have to deal with my board? Because if I have to Wrath to kill a 7-5, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Could also easily be sitting on counter spells. pretty close to swinging team next turn regardless of what they do. Maybe not with the mana producers. I'm pretty content with this. I can still cast a 7-drop if I mill another one here. And if I think I need blood money, we can do that. leave that on top and give them the incentive to want to kind of mill it.
Because I kind of don't care if they do. If they don't, I can cycle through the swamp. If they do, that's kind of fine too. Hey, what's up, Aaron? As they've got a combat trick, I suppose I'm just dead. That one will do it. Although technically not a combat trick. That's close. I thought I could swarm them out. I was wrong. I think there were very likely some mistakes made in that last game. I don't think killing the cut, the uh, merchant was the mistake. I, I think I'd, I waited one turn too long to attack. Because there's two combat tricks-ish that I can think of that give plus one, plus zero oh in the set, and I should have been prepared to play around them. Like, they were playing slow enough and deliberately enough that it's reasonable to expect they had something and weren't just being stupid, you know? Yeah, I, I, at some point in that game, we decided we weren't wrathing, basically. when we began to continue to commit creatures to that board. We don't know what kind of fixing they have in the deck. For all we know, they have wonderful fixing. They're clearly a gamer of culture. They're running a bag of holding. But I hear you. It can be frustrating to be like, I can't even get two colors of mana. My opponent has three. I've been there. I was pretty sure they were going to swing team there, and then they didn't. I like that they didn't. Take my six and just hold tight. Does bag of holding count as fixing chat? What's up, nobody? How you doing? Yeah. Double checking, nothing has reach.
When creature enters the battlefield, if it was cast, exile it, then return all other permanent cards exiled the battlefield. What the does this do? So if I cast something, it goes into exile, and then it comes back when they cast something. I think. Which I think means if I cast this and then the Prowler. I get extra Sapperlings. And we're good. I mean, I'm not in a hurry here. I guess I'll just get my Meteor Golem twice. I'll be cautious here. There's no need to die. Yes, they played it. But I'm having all the fun. I'll kill you one at a time. I'm having a great time. What's up, Boros? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for the mirror. Absolutely no reason to die to arcane archery into another Farida's fireball. this up just in case they have a haste creature. Hello, Ewan. Alright, I think we can pretty comfortably just kill that and plan on blocking our way out of this if necessary. Or this works. Boop! It doesn't even take that long. The game's about board presence. If they don't have a wipe, we got them. Bye-bye. GG's indeed. Man, it's like my opponent's deck was kind of built around for me. That was great. Keep doing that, please.
it might have been okay in their deck too. Like we didn't see all of it. Would you have put one in our deck? I don't think I would have, but I could almost see an argument for it. I need a lot of ATBs. can do Pilgrim's Eye into Basilisk next turn and I think we'd be pretty happy. And there's not a lot of spells that will straight up kill this. Um, there's the past Narcolepsy variant. What is it? Charm Sleep? I think gets me. Possibility they have a counter spell. No, just a young red dragon. That's fine. That thing got a heck of a buff. Used to not be able to block and be a 3 2. Sorry, opponent. I have tried this before. It's uh, it's not real good. can go pretty wide. I just deemed this a bit too slow when I tried it. And that was for best of three. So I, I have to believe it's just way too slow here. In relation to my I was wrong comment earlier, once, it's okay to talk about stats. I have unbanned such phrases as 17 lands and stats. I also unbanned a lot of people who were banned in chat. They did have one. Actually, these can both go.
stash of blood money under there. I don't think we'll be needing it. It is a dragon barbarian. Most barbaric of barbarians. I believe we are going to swarm our opponent to death. That is at least my intention. I think so, Zombob. I don't recall for sure, but I think so. Yeah, Manticore got decent. Have a good one, Boros. So it's always had a chain, it just wasn't a ginormous chain. Okay. Good afternoon, Thunair. Sim wife, Sim baby, and Sim himself are all doing great. Good to see ya. I hope things are well in your world. a little scary. We've at least got a turn two play, which I dig, but obviously just need some lions and we're in business. Nice. Business is good. Everybody grab a leg. really wanted like two owl bears to put this on you know I think that would have been better got tons of little death touchers there's one. Mm. 
We could give the Guild Sworn Prowler Death Touch with the Wand of Orcus. Which I think is kind of a big deal. We're not even playing that. I do want to play around a discard spell, so I'm going to play the land. I want seven lands in play. We basically terminated the imp by making the play like that, because it didn't attack or block. Thank you, Scott. Congratulations on the free preview card. Big thank you to Wadsey for giving us a free preview card to show off today. And a free preview crad. Hope <laughs> things are well in your world, Simic. Y'all spam some cats for Simic. Thank you, bud. Thank you very much. See what they blog first. like we're probably advantaged here. So do they. Neat. So we've hit that magic spot in best of one drafting where we've at least gotten our entry fee back, right? Yeah, 1600. So ideally we can get a little more profit than that, but this works. And I'm not really trying to go infinite in magic anymore. I'm trying to have a good time and make some content that's enjoyable to watch. All right, quick break. I need a piece of pizza. I'll be right back with you. I hope we get a Gandalf avatar for the Lord of the Rings set. How could we not? I'm buying every cosmetic I can for that set. If there's a Saruman one, it may permanently replace the Nicol Bolas. Not a coward, confirm. Okay, good to know. I 
think I like Baba La Saga going first. We'll see. What's wrong with having a Lord of the Rings set, Adam? I, I, I fundamentally don't understand the hate for the universes beyond stuff. What did they do that was so terrible with The Walking Dead? So is Tribe a card type or is Creature a card type? Because right now, I, and I don't think Token is a card type, is it? prevent him from getting the thing. So Tifling Rogue Assassin is. Yeah, this is just a full set. I don't see why that's bad. Thank you very much for the gift sub, Jay Marty. I'll spam some cats for Jay Marty. I got more Death Touchers. I'd be happier hitting the land here, I think. Yeah, this is just a full booster draft set. You can draft it, you can play it. Hey, what's up, Alexis? This is like Storybook Brawl, but it costs money. <laughs> I hope you have been well. Thank you for the resub. They're trying to make sets of cards people will buy. I'm okay with that. Man, if I could put that one card under this, I'd be happy. But I can't. We're so close. But I still think I'd rather hit a land. I could shuffle it back in with Pilgrim's Eye anyway. So, Tommy, if I sacrifice this zombie and this fungus in a land to Babala Saiga, it works? The way I think it do? Well, that's what I was asking if it was a type. Fungus. Is fungus a type? Explain butt type. I think we probably understand that better than you'd imagine. But if I sacrifice just the Pilgrim's Eye in a land, it does work, right? Because this is an artifact, a creature, and a land.
Yeah, but land is a tie. This card's pretty good. I thought we might win. I no longer think that is the case. Wait a minute, I was supposed to win. Yeah, you gotta just explain to me what I can sacrifice with Baba and not try to talk about tribes and stuff. It's too confusing. I don't think I want to eat an onion pancake. That sounds terrible. Grunions? And who you calling a crap? Minimus containment's bad. And you're bad and shouldn't play it. could draw all lands, right? Right? I was thinking there's some possibility um, that we hit, line up the shot, and want to use that to get our Wand of Orcus back, and that gets significantly worse if they have Jahira. We did happen to draw a line up the shot, which is pretty cool, and I can get a bunch of zombies, and by a bunch I mean three. I don't think that's quite enough, but it, it's something. It's what I have. So we'll take it. Lionaise? What is that? They have lions and mayonnaise? And pancakes? Oh my. Lionaise potatoes, not lionaise pancakes. I might need glasses, y'all. He says, twirling his glasses. Different glasses. More gooder glasses. It's destroying the swarm better long term. They have to not draw land, uh, creatures for us to win this game.
It, it, this has already done its damage. No, it says Lyonnaise. I can, I can read John. French dish, a sliced pan fried taters, thinly sliced onions, sauteed in butter. I mean, that does sound like a delight. Have you drafted this, John? I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them with three a turn. A couple butts hated it a lot. Okay, fair. I don't think I have outs from here. But I guess we can try to block some crap and see what happens. I'd probably like Double Masters too. I'd be interested in playing it if I could. I just can't. I'm pretty sure this is over. I'm pretty sure this is over a while ago. Sworn to the Legion's very good. Like just drawing multiple copies of all of your cards over and over and over it turns out to be quite good. What specifically is inhibiting your computer from playing MTGO? I have no idea. It just can't run it. It can run Escape. I can stream Escape from Tarkov on um, giant settings and be fine. We've got a Wrath in the deck, which is why I'm not just scooping, but I kind of need it yesterday. I think MTGO is preventing me from streaming it. But it just lags all the pieces. is not exactly what we needed. Yeah, I wish I knew what was preventing my PC from running Magic Online. I'd play it on occasion, but as it is, I've spent somewhere on the order of a hundred bucks trying to get it to work, and it doesn't. Have you tried to wipe your computer and start fresh? No, nor do I have any intention of doing that. Why in the world would I do that? I just uninstalled Magic Online. I don't want to play it that bad. I feel like if Watsy sent me $100 and an apology, I might try that. But as it is, it's just incredibly frustrating. Okay, we didn't draw a Wrath. I think that was probably our only out at that point. Game over, man. Could always buy a 250 gigabyte SSD and install it on that and see if it works. I could, or I could just be like, nah. That 
was not a bad run. It wasn't perfect. I think there were some mistakes in there, and that's okay. I think acknowledging that I can make mistakes is a good thing for me as far as game development, that I can get better. Uh, Baba didn't really do anything for us, but I, I see the possibility. I see how she could and how Treasure Tokens and Pilgrim's Eye would be quite nice with her. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. And a very big thank you to my patrons. Thank you, Punk, Joe, Jesse, Jacob, Scott, Fasty, Rich, Brandon, Jazzy, Craig, and Geis. I appreciate y'all.